feels like forever since I posted the last episode on this uh, channel, but uh, let's uh, change that up and uh, get into something uh, a little bit different. This time, aside from uh, just working on cases and showing the process from start to finish, I figured I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my daily activities into the mix. I'm just gonna make me some coffee and I got a couple of projects uh, to catch up on from uh, last night that I didn't get a chance to finish. It looks like we may have some problems with the power management I see, but I need to confirm it first. There are some components that I gotta rework before I can do some uh, measurements. As suspected, we're not getting proper ID of the device and the measurements show that we only have 3.3 volts circulating so chances are we're gonna need to remove the power management IC and have it replaced with the working one if we want this device to work again. In case you haven't seen the process yet I'll include a card for you in the top right corner showing you the entire process from start to finish. Just a casual deer having some grass or whatever he can find. So last year uh, they built a new uh, bridge right here, which is supposed to cut directly into uh, Ottawa. They finally opened it up and it's pretty amazing. I love this bridge, but it kind of brings you out to the part of the city where there's like not much to, to see. The next bridge is all the way up there where, those, where that building is. Uh, this eddy complex they're building. Cooler vibe to it when you pass through it. And plus they got the dam over there. So that looks nice too. But I just saw stopping by here checking out the water and the, these seagull islands are kind of cool. Always wanted to get a canoe and uh, you know try to swim up to them when it's <laughs> not too uh, crowded. I don't know if they're nesting over there, just chilling. This week, I'm gonna be working mainly on getting uh, the uh, space workspace reorganized because now that the weather is nice, I'm uh, using this uh, bike to get to work. The bike is way more convenient. Um, I don't have to worry about parking. Parking downtown Ottawa is a bit of a ridiculous problem, especially like where my shop is. The bike actually gets me to work in approximately the same time as the car does, if it's traffic hour. Once you get to the river and up to the shop, it's all beautiful. So let's get back on the road and uh, kick this day off. I just forgot how heavy that thing is. A few drives arrived today, this dinosaur uh, WD my book. Oh yeah, this is a really old one. It's a 640 gig unit. Notes from the client. There's a blue light flashing, but I hear no spinning and it will not connect to the computer anymore. Well, maybe uh, this is some of those simple cases where the PCB is burned. But first we gotta remove all of these screws from the cage and then have the drive hooked up to PC3000. Right now it's connected to uh, an adapter that probably performs some sort of encryption. Um, it's an old piece, so I'm guessing it's got like an initial uh, module on it or something. Initial. You don't even need to have any testing equipment to tell that this PCB is a little bit tired. Uh, all the exposed uh, metal contact points are discolored, very dark. These connection pads that go to the preamp, they need to be cleaned up. Just take an eraser and clean it up a little bit so it's nice and shiny again.
much better. Maybe we do have a problematic PCB, so to test it, I'm just gonna grab a tester, okay, multimeter, put it in a diode test mode, and we're gonna check a couple of TVS diodes to make sure that they are okay. If they are not okay, we can remove them for temporary fix of the drive. So if they're not okay, they're gonna produce this noise, right? The black holes uh, on the line side of the unit, this diode is good, beeps shortly once, and this also beeps shortly once. We should be spinning. I mean, it could be also a problem with the adapter itself. It's definitely spinning. If we go into utility, start with a backup of all the resources. Yeah, the drive is reading really fast. I don't think there's even gonna be any problems with uh, any pending. Maybe it was just the connection or maybe it was just a problem with the uh, adapter itself. I want to test all of the heads. All four heads are good. Uh, we can check if the data is um, accessible or not. It's not even encrypted. That's awesome. Let's check modules 32, 34, completely empty from the header down and begin cloning this thing. So the standard process uh, with uh, imaging, you create a task and uh, start building a head map. So you know which heads are in the use and when, and if there are any issues, you can avoid reading those heads by deselecting them from the map. Got some slouchy socks. Um, yeah, this package just came from our friend, partner in Florida. Yo, I just did a video on this on this thing. Maybe with a slightly different controller, but we recovered it. That was the that was the BitLocker case. You guys probably haven't seen that video yet, but it's in the making. The donor, I received this, this donor I needed for some special extracurriculum activity. And we got this drive here, Iron Wolf. I don't know if it's for a client. I think it was just for us to use as parts. One hour later. A full image of all of the used sectors has been successfully obtained. Now we're ready to dump it out to an external SSD and send it back to the client. While that's happening, we're experiencing a full solar eclipse today, guys. I don't know if we're going to see it. This freaking crane is right in the way. Super weird, guys, that uh, second year in a row I'm catching full solar eclipse. The last time it was in Cancun and I didn't have the glasses. Now it's in Ottawa, almost, and I still forgot the glasses at home. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the stuff, but um, it was kind of cool. It, at some point it got really, really, really dark downtown and uh, almost looked like it's going to uh, be an onset to a massive uh, thunderstorm or something. Um, I saw a lot of people outside staring at the sun. Uh, that was kind of interesting. So my day is coming up to an end. Uh, we're heading home. Thank you for sticking around and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.